Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys probably a review. This Today's a review and today's review is going to be going out to the Air Canada ERJ-190. Now this aircraft here, um, I got to say, it's brought back so many good memories and the reason why I'm saying that, and the reason why I'm reviewing this aircraft and not going for any other aircraft that I currently have, which I do have a lot of aircraft that still need to review. The reason why I'm reviewing this aircraft is, well, because I'm planning to sell it. And the reason why is because, well, Air Canada is retiring this, uh, the ERJ-190 and they're going to be replacing it with the previous Bombardier CS-100 and 300. And, well, now it's the A220 aircraft now. I don't really get it. I thought that was kind of a dumb move by Airbus, but hey, 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 nope. Trying to be a little bit in the plus here. So basically, I'm taking this aircraft out of my fleet because again, they are retiring it. And no, though it is sad to set here, this aircraft go and no longer uh, see this aircraft. I am going to give it one final airport update before I will sell it, sell it. So this is the Air Canada ERJ-190. This is actually a really nice aircraft. Uh, I really want to sell it because I'm actually trying to see if I can get um, two aircraft. A USA Jet, DC-9, and a ATI, which I think is America, no, Air Transport International DC-873F. So the Air Canada ERJ-190 uh, has two of the General Electric GECF 34-10E5 engines. The delivery date was on the 7th of May 2007, and the first flight was on the is, was in April of 2007. The empty weight is 61,910 pounds, cruising speed is 504 miles per hour, range is 1,800 miles, and the seating is 98 in mixed class seating. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are probably thinking, well, I'm getting rid of this Embraer aircraft and I don't have any more Embraer aircraft that I'm going to be buying. But I can tell you that uh, on the course of a total of five years, this is a plan. In five years, I'm planning to get a total amount of aircraft of 100 and 130 new planes I'm going to be getting. But sadly, I'm going to have to be selling a few of them too. I am planning to sell probably one, two, three, four, five of my aircraft. Uh, at the most, five, because I'm not going to sell every single aircraft I have. Um, most of the selling of aircraft is probably going to be due to me replacing them with other aircraft types. But what I can tell you is with uh, some of the Mad Dog aircraft I have and all my Allegiant aircraft, I'm actually going to be keeping. Um, but pretty soon... The next aircraft to go is probably going to be my FAA Convair uh, 580. I'm probably going to sell it for like 10 bucks. I don't know. I'm not really getting much out of it. Actually, I'll probably sell it for like 20 bucks, and that's it because it is a pretty old model, and I don't really have a use for it anymore in my airport. That's just kind of a heads up. I might be selling a Convair. Also, if I do plan to sell one of the models, I will have a final uh, airport update for them. But I know for sure the Air Canada ERJ-190 is going to be sold and I will have a final airport update for this aircraft really soon. And I know I haven't been doing airport updates, but pretty soon I will be doing a lot more airport updates. And the reason for that is because, well, um, the reason for the less amount of airport updates is because I'm moving. And I'm currently in the new location now. I've moved all my Gemini jets, but I'm still actually planning in the next one to two months to get a table and well make myself a actual airport instead of just having a table with a bunch of weird wooden pieces i'm actually planning to well fix some of the wooden pieces up by like painting them uh airport colors and stuff like that so anyways the air canada erj190 i do recommend getting this model but if you do want to get a model that's like still going to be used i'd recommend getting this model still I really like this aircraft, it's just I kind of need more money to buy more Gemini jets as in September there is a uh, aircraft show which is coming to San Francisco. It's an airline memorabilia show and sale where they're going to be selling tons of cool models that I'm going to be getting. Um, 
Now here's the thing, with some of the models uh, that I will be getting, they will probably be in bulk. So I'll probably be getting a total of maybe, maybe five, six, seven, eight, or nine, maybe 10 at the most models of what I might be getting. It's uh, because I've been saving a lot of money, incredible amount of money that I've been saving. and. I'm going to be going all out for buying Gemini jets. Now, I want to discuss airports, the airports which I'm going to be using hubs at. Now, I'm going to be I'm making three airports. Actually, I'm making five, counting one for my brothers and one for my Russian airport. Uh, what I can say, though, about the Russian airport is I'm probably not going to continue the Russian airport much anymore. And I know I've said... Once I get 10 planes for the Russian, or five planes for the Russian airport, then I'll do an airport update. But, well, I have four now for the Russian airport. I have one plane I still need to unbox and show you guys, but that aircraft, along with another aircraft that I'm getting, uh, those are gonna be pretty special models. But what I can say, though, is the airports are Miami International Airport, San Francisco International Airport, and Cincinnati, Kentucky Northern International Airport. I'm gonna stop doing a Reno Tahoe. Um, the reason why I did a Reno Tahoe because that was actually gonna be the first airport update where it was like an actual airport. The rest of them mostly currently been um, uh, fictional ones. I will still be doing fictional ones though. And then the next airport I'm actually trying to work on is also Rome. That's one of my airports I'm helping my brother out with. And also I have a well, anyways, uh, not about that, but with this model here, I'm actually going to see if I can replace, again, this. I'm either replacing this with the United A320-200 Stars and Bars, uh, Stars and Bars Retro, or I'm going to replace this with two models. So I'm probably going to sell this aircraft for around, I bought this aircraft, as you can see the price tag on the box was 45 it was actually 48 bucks. And I know it's on eBay, they usually go for a little bit less, probably around 47, which isn't that bad, I mean, for this aircraft. But what I am gonna do, I'm probably gonna sell this model for 50 bucks, but it's gonna be 40 bucks, or actually like 45 bucks. You know, I'll just sell it for 50, you know, I don't care. I'll just sell it for 50. So this model here is gonna sadly be sold pretty soon, and what I'm gonna be doing is replacing it with either the Stars and Bars A320 or um, ATI DC-873 uh, F and the USA Jet DC-9-30. The reason why I want to get the DC-9-30 for USA Jet is because that's basically the only DC-9 model I have. That's going to basically almost complete my history of from Douglas to McDonnell Douglas to Boeing. And the reason why I say that is because I'm also going to be getting a 717 for Delta Airlines because I want to complete the kind of collection I'm trying to go on. It's going to be from like DC-9 to like Donald Douglas MD-80s to MD-90s to 717s, kind of like that. Because, well, that's kind of how the history went with those aircraft. So anyway guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts down below in the video. Pretty soon I'm going to be doing a video or two or several videos on airlines you may not know until now and the reason why I'm saying that is because I prepared four of them already I have one two three four yeah four of them I have prepared and one of them I'm still currently working on and I also have one that's currently currently in the planning so anyway guys again thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed I'm 2384 Aviation and I'll see you in the next video